I was to ask you the question, what is it that you're afraid of? All sorts of things would probably jump into your mind, and especially depending on your age. I remember when I was a little guy, I lived in a, a rural Ontario village, and we had this house. I'd go down in the basement at the age of five years of age, and I'd just be petrified because the light switch was on the far side of the room. I had my play wooden sword. I would take it with me, and I would yell, come out, come out wherever you are, and I'd race across the room and flick on the light switch. And then when the light was on, I would act so brave and so calm and collected. I wonder if you're a little bit like that. You're facing a fear. You're afraid of something. Whatever the dark might be from you, whether it's finances to health to a relationship, I don't know, but you know what it is today. And, and you just want someone to flick on the light switch. The beautiful thing about Psalm 23 is that David addresses so many things. And in Psalm 23, verse 4, we read, Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, here it comes, I will fear no evil. I won't be afraid, for you're with me. Your rod and staff, they comfort me, and you prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, and my cup overflows. There's so much to say here, but let me just unpack one truth. David says, even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. Why does he say that? Because death is the greatest thing that people fear. And when you face the greatest of fears, you can face anything. It doesn't have to bring you down. But I wonder today, have you recognized the power of fear? Because it will immobilize you. It will just... Uh, inflate the size of the object. That situation that you're dealing with probably seems greater than it really is. But the other thing that fear does is that it intimidates you. It keeps you from stepping out and doing all that God has called you to do. A man one time said these words, God's grace will never lead us where his grace cannot keep us. And when you face the greatest of fears, you can move on and face all things. David said one last thing. He said, you prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Now, just think about that with me for a moment. It almost sounds ludicrous to be having a banquet meal in front of your enemies. But David was referring to being under the care of the Bedouin shepherd. And the Bedouin shepherd said that when you come into my environment, you're safe. I'm going to protect you. And David said that Bedouin shepherd is like the Lord himself. And the Lord himself is there to say in the midst of your fears that you're facing, you can sit at the table, the table of God, to enjoy his presence, to relax, believing that he is there, that he's watching over you. Maybe it's time today that you begin to think about what God's sustaining grace can do for you and through you as you learn to lean on him.